TD Cowan naming Walmart as its best idea for the retail sector in 2024. The firm sees Walmart as a retail tech leader with strategic investments in e-commerce, digital advertising, and AI. Not what you normally think about when you're talking about uh, a grocery store. Joining us right now is the author of that report, Oliver Chen, TD Cowan, senior retail analyst and a Columbia Business School professor. And Oliver, that, that this is pretty interesting. Everything that we just talked about is not what I would have thought of for a, a retailer just 10 years ago. Yeah, there's a real tug of war here, a revolution happening with artificial intelligence, digital advertising, as well as marketplace models. So the future is a platform that really incorporates all three of these things. Digital advertising is a very high margin opportunity. It's an $80 billion market growing at 17%. And Walmart has a lot of room to grow. It's only 1% of sales versus 7 to 80% at Amazon and Google. They've been getting into the digital ad division for, they've had that division for a number of years. I was actually surprised when I first heard about it. Um, look, I got to give kudos to the Walmart management team for actually seeing these things and trying to move in new directions. Yeah, executing across all these buckets is complicated, but curbside pickup, Omni, thinking about all these interactive choices for the consumer, Walmart's really advanced. Also adding lots of products in the marketplace model, that's great too. And then as we think about artificial intelligence, it will profoundly impact merchandising, inventory, and labor as well. And Walmart is well on its way to in doing this. What do you see it doing in terms of <clears throat> not requiring as much staffing to, to do the things they're doing right now or doing different things? Certainly that's true in terms of repurposing staffing and robotics and micro-fulfillment. That's very important for pick and pack. As we think about merchandising, greater full price selling. Raising full price selling by five percentage points can impact EPS by five to 10% or more. Finally, inventory. There's excess inventory with safety stock. As you get the right stuff at the right place in the right time, you can have less inventory and raise return on invested capital. It, it seems like a little bit of a um, treacherous path to pick this as your best stock as we head into a potential recession. I mean, people are looking for that to happen this year. Is this your best stock among all retail names? Is this your best stock overall? How does that work? It out? is our best stock overall. We see Walmart as a defensive play as well. Keep in mind, it's the biggest grocer we need to eat, and it's focused on value. At the same time, general merchandise has been bumpy. The consumer is facing inflation, yeah. and the consumer confidence level is volatile. So we think Walmart's well positioned in that it's everyday low price value, in addition to being this technology opportunity too. So you get defense and offense. We also like Costco, but Walmart's our top choice. But, but Walmart coming in on this, it, so you're anticipating a recession, but one that will drive more customers to, to Walmart where they're trying to. They've had great momentum money. with traffic. Uh, what we are seeing is disinflation or deflation. So the next year will be focused on unit growth as well as conversion. But Walmart's had great momentum and traffic. I'm optimistic for the consumer. Why is that true? The consumer still has spending power at 3.7% unemployment. Nominal wage growth is growing above inflation. But the consumer's rapidly shifted away from general merchandise, and Walmart is navigating this well. 60% of Walmart is food, though. Right, but that's a much lower margin business. It is. I, it, it is. Just the idea. We, we had Bank of America on yesterday from the Bank of America Institute just talking about how people are still spending on services but not on goods. That's where they're cutting. Yeah, they are cutting, and that shift is happening. Uh, but Walmart doing digital advertising, it's a very high margin business. So thinking about the future in this new nexus, there will be have and have nots with AI and others. That will help margins in the long term. We're modeling margins to go up four to five percent. You mentioned you like Costco too. Does it have the same AI factors going for it? Costco's earlier in the journey. The big, uh, big takeaway for Costco is it's a membership model. A lot of retention, a lot of happy customers, only 3,000 products. So. Back to the basics with Costco, but very much improving mobile experience, rapidly improving. The Kirkland brand is legendary, too. You haven't mentioned Amazon. Is that in your universe? Is that things you cover, too? We don't cover it, but what we do admire about Amazon is how it's done a very good job with digital advertising. And also, it's been a pioneer in artificial intelligence, and clearly this company innovates. As we think about Walmart, Healthcare, fintech, the whole ecosystem will be important. Can I ask you a, maybe it's a curveball of a question. We talk about Amazon all the time in the context of antitrust and what the government's doing and what the government thinks 
of the power and influence that Amazon has over everybody else. Given that you can see, that you watch consumer and consumer behavior, do you think Amazon has some kind of unique lock-in to its consumers that is either unfair or is able to influence pricing across the entire retail sphere or not? Well, we're excited about sellers having other options and other marketplaces such as Walmart. Um, what Amazon and Walmart will try to do is really conquer fulfillment as well in the whole value chain. Uh, what's happening is great alternatives. Target has a marketplace too, and both of them will focus on right. fulfillment as well. But Amazon, unfair, unfair for Amazon or one of these places to have a, I mean, they're, they're saying we need to do the fulfillment ourselves because then we can guarantee that the customer is actually going to get the product in two days yeah. rather than using, you know, third parties and the like. Yeah. Is well, that then, a plausible argument or, or, or not? The name of the game is getting goods as fast as possible to consumers. So on Walmart's side is using stores as fulfillment centers. And in many ways, Amazon's a brilliant supply chain um, entity. So that is what everybody is racing to do. Robotics and AI will be a big part of the future. We believe in bricks plus clicks. So we believe in the physical stores and the journey ahead for Amazon will likely include more grocery, more physical. 